me what's going on for you and how could I help? So I just started, I'm on day seven of your program. So I'm on conditional reasoning. Um, most of it, I have extra time also because I'm dyslexic. So um, my biggest issue so far on most of the proof tests I have taken has been, um, or at least with regards to logical reasoning, is I will know the right answer, I'll get the right answer, and then um, I'll copy it down wrong. So even just it's like I will get the answer right, I'll diagram the rules right, and then I'll accidentally just be going through it quickly and accidentally circle C instead of D. Or So that's my biggest issue. I mess up usually just one or two questions that it's like initially I'm doing really good and then I'll just like be going through the questions and rushing and I'll miss like a does not or I'll just completely just circle the wrong answer even though like my diagram shows I had the right answer. Mm. So it's just I think it's that I really need to double check on. Interesting. Okay. So in that case, it's about double checking the questions then. Yeah. And double checking my answers, I think. Cause I like, I've been doing your, um, I am uh, again on the seventh day. So I've been doing all the process, like logic games and I've been doing really well. It's just all like usually get one question wrong on every single one. And it's just because of something either I missed in the question or I had the right answer diagrammed and I just circled the wrong one. Right. Right. Gotcha. Well, good thing about the, the digital and the flex is that you're not actually doing anything on a separate Scantron or sheet. You're doing it, yeah. you're bubbling on the screen. So there's probably less likelihood of getting it mixed up there. Yeah. Because you're clicking That's exactly fair. what you're seeing. Have you played with the digital format? Have you used LSAC's Law Hub? I still need to sign up and pay for that. I'm waiting uh, for my next paycheck before I buy anything else. Um, so I've done the Khan Academy format, and that works better. I just additionally also, when I've never done set, I like do better when I do like the little like quizzes on Khan Academy. I haven't been doing them because I've been doing your program, and that's been taking up the majority of my time, um, which is good. But um, so I do better, and then on the larger ones, I do definitely don't ever get ones wrong where it's just like the reading over. So I think that will be better. It's just that a lot of the time, I feel like fatigue plays a big issue when I do the full length test. Right, just, so you're gonna to wanna to work on endurance then. Yeah, cause I have like, I have time and a half, which is like great, but it's also, I don't know, it's a lot, it's like a five hour test then. Yeah, it's gonna be a longer day for sure. I mean, the regular format exam, five sections, time and a half does become close to five hours, but good news with the flex, three sections back to back under normal circumstances, which is two hours, but with time and a half, that would become maybe closer to three hours, right? Yeah. So do you think there will be the flex section in October? I do. I do. I expect okay. LSAC to announce any day now. Okay. That's good. So it's shorter. It's at home. It's going to be three hours for you, not five ish, which is good news. And yeah. either way, like I said, you're bubbling on the screen whether you're doing con or law hub, it's bubbling on the screen with the questions. So there's not as much likelihood of mixing things up because what you click is what you see. It's yeah. right there. Okay. What do you recommend? Um, are there any for the flex format? Um, what do you recommend for like creating a home environment or like, is there anything different that you recommend doing in preparing for that versus a regular LSTAT? Well, quiet home environment is number one. So okay. anybody you live with who could make noise, you got to get them to stay quiet for those couple hours. Okay. <laughs> I live with four people. So. Okay. So that, that could be something. Yes. Yeah. So maybe you want to schedule it at a time when they're not likely to be around or not likely to be awake, maybe. Yeah. And not okay. like, and obviously telling them, putting a sign on the door, keeping them quiet for those three or so hours in your case would be okay. good. Good internet connection. Okay. Ideally wired, plugged in if possible. You wouldn't want other people doing lots of video calls or streaming video during that time. Okay. And then clean desk, clean, clean background. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. And then also for your program, like, cause there is a lot on every day to do. I mean, it's like, I feel like at least 
typically I try to spend three hours a day studying, whether it's with your program and then just doing extra questions. Um, what do you do? Like, okay, I, on Saturday, I like got behind because I had a huge busy day with work and everything. And then I tried to make it up on Sunday and then I got a little bit behind on Sunday. So now it's like Monday and I'm trying to make everything up as well as do Monday's work. What do you do in that situation? Catch up bit by bit. So don't try to do it okay. all in one day. So let's say you fell behind a day, catch up over the next couple of days. So don't double up the following day. But the schedule is much more important for the level of specificity about what to do than the exact day by day breakdown. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. And you've got time till October. You've got enough time where you've got about eight weeks, seven weeks between now and then. It's enough yeah. time to make a whole lot happen. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's very stressful because I was... <laughs> I hear you. I, I hear you. And I'd say for you, once you've got that foundation down, since you noted endurance as being a factor, I would focus on that. Knowing okay. that if October is a flex, which it almost certainly will be, it's at least three hours, not five. Endurance isn't as big an issue for you, but it still is yeah. an issue. So I, I would definitely do a number of exams timed. Okay. And um, I know I was reading your stuff. I know I'm not into that section, but since my biggest hurdle seems to be um, the reading comprehension, um, is there anything you can recommend specifically for that? Because I know that's the hardest score to improve. And that's like where I'm scoring the lowest. I think one, because I've spent the least amount of time on it too, just because it is hardest to improve. Should I yeah. be working on that now, even though I'm doing logic games? I would. If you know that reading comp is an area of struggle, I would jump ahead and spend some time there and go through the reading comp foundation videos in the course but also check okay. out the masterclass videos as well with more advanced techniques and helping you figure out your proper approach. Okay. So you can do multiple sections side by side. I start with games because they're typically the hardest for people, but the most yeah. learnable, but reading comp, there's plenty you can learn too. Okay. Okay. Cool. I think that's all the questions I can think of for you that I have. Sure. Well, if anything else comes up, feel free to reach out. I've also got a new student orientation happening tonight okay. at 9 p.m. Eastern. So please definitely feel free to come to that and ask follow-ups or I'll be covering some general stuff as well. Okay. Yes, I do plan on attending that. And then also I'm going to join the Facebook group as well. Um, I guess I could post in there too. Yeah, definitely. I'd recommend okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, I don't know, is there any other tips that aren't, I mean, I guess everything's in your program, but that you would give me any advice? At this point for you, I would say it's seven weeks out. It's a, not a whole lot of time to learn the entire LSAT start to finish, but you're also not starting from scratch. So my recommendation yeah. for you is jump around, pick whatever you already know to be a weak area, focus there, then dive into the full length exams and you'll find new weak areas along the way potentially. And when you do, drill them on the side. And I'll be covering more okay. in the general orientation tonight as well. And I've got five previous orientations recorded you could go through if you want yeah, any of the I've basics. Watched them. <laughs> oh, cool. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Well, I'll do another one tonight, different material or at least a different angle on things. So join for that. And if any questions come up then, feel free to ask. Okay. Great. Uh, thank you so much, Steve. Thanks for being so responsive too, to all my emails. My pleasure, Fiona. Of course. We'll keep in touch and I'll see you in class tonight. Okay. Great. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.